I've read a lot of interpretations out there on why Din Djarin couldn't wield the Darksaber in the Book of Boba Fett. Things like, oh, the Darksaber is rejecting Din, or it's because he misses Grogu and his mind is distracted. But I think it's quite a bit more nuanced than these things. First, let's look at what happened when Sabine Wren was training with the Darksaber in Rebels. Kanan tells Sabine that energy constantly flows through the crystal. You're not fighting with a simple blade as much as you are directing a current of power. Your thoughts, your actions, they become energy. They flow through the crystal as well and become a part of the blade. He guides her not only in lightsaber technique, but clearing her mind and bonding with the blade. Sabine tells Kanan as they progress that the blade is getting lighter. The blade feels lighter. You're connecting with it. It's becoming a part of you. This concept goes a bit deeper during the Clone Wars series where Ahsoka takes a group of younglings to Ilum to retrieve their kyber crystals in an event called The Gathering. Kyber crystals are semi-sentient. In other words, they call to the wielder meant for that specific crystal and they challenge the user's thoughts and their actions. You're not fighting me. You're fighting yourself. Sabine wielded the Darksaber much easier once she accepted what she was. She let go of what she feared and embraced the blade itself. So with Din, the Darksaber wasn't rejecting him. Rather, it was reflecting him. You are fighting against the blade. His conflict and his unwillingness to accept both his duty and his responsibility. Now the second part of this is that the conflict is due to his feelings for Grogu. But that, it's only part of the story. Ever since he met Bo-Katan, what he's thought was the only way of the Mandalore has been peeled back little by little. His creed, his philosophies, and his practice of his religion aren't the only interpretation. And he's been having that idealism stripped away a piece at a time, and he is starting to really struggle with that. His struggles are directly reflected back into him from the Darksaber. See, both Maul and Moff Gideon were able to wield the Darksaber because they wholeheartedly believed in their cause. Their minds were clear and that they did not lack any conviction in what they wanted to accomplish. That is what makes all the difference. Now hopefully in season three of The Mandalorian, we'll get to see Din embrace his responsibilities and his duties on Mandalore, and it'll be interesting to see how Bo-Katan, who originally claimed the Dark Saber before she lost it to Gideon, is gonna play into the story. Click here to see the brutal past of the Dark Saber and The Mandalorian Wars, and may the Force be with you.